How will you remember the last week? What will stand out a month from now, a year? This is the week we reflect on 9-11. We ride united. We run together. And this man, Al Forte, walks alone from New York to Boston promoting peace. Michelle saw him in Milford. News 8 caught up with him in Brantford. Could you picture a world at peace? All the money we would have to spend on other things? Like cures, he says, for things like cancer. That's what motivated people to bike across Connecticut the closer to free ride. It's the message behind this line of hope for childhood cancer awareness in Wallingford. West Haven football players and cheerleaders encouraged people to fill the helmet for wounded warriors. Hamden High's dance team helped build houses for heroes. And a school in Trumbull accepted the ice bucket challenge. Meanwhile, Mother Nature dropped some ice of her own this week. Mike shot video and Nicole snapped a photo of the hail in Fairfield. We also saw the rainbow that followed. How about the beauty in the sensational sunrises, spectacular sunsets, and breathtaking shots of this week's supermoon? This caught Jim's attention in the sky. He sent some cool photos from an air show in Oxford. Nina noticed this bottle in the water in Stratford. Turns out nine-year-old Luca from Fairfield sent it into the sound. A boat washed up in Mystic. The harbor master says it had been illegally anchored. We got some emails and Tina Detell talked to the boat owner's brother. Somebody undid the chain and so then the boat drifted over here and that's why the boat's here. News 8 also talked with some hospital workers in New Haven who were being told to use a different, more distant parking lot. They wanted to report it because they're worried about ultimately losing their jobs. Definitely being late is one of the uh, things you get points for, and I don't know if there's nowhere to park, we're definitely not gonna be on time. The news, like the passing of Basil, Stratford's public pet therapist, and the events, like the beginning of your kids' fall sports seasons, the big milestones like Vic and Fran's 25th, and small steps like Emma playing in puddles. We're glad you share, and we wonder, what will you remember from the last week? I'm Chris Velarde, News 8.